Four months ago, I came to you with the New York skyline in the background. Four months ago. Before the Third World War, before a lot of the things that have happened that I warned you about, and I stood in the harbor. Today we're in the Hudson River. We're literally on a man-made structure that has been built on floating the Hudson River. You can see Lower Manhattan and the Financial District behind me this way, Freedom Tower. You can see in the very distance the Statue of Liberty right here, the Verrazano's Narrows Bridge. That's New Jersey. And as we pivot behind us, it's the new New York. It's called Hudson Yards. Hudson Yards. And then you pivot over and see the entire down. state building. Yeah. This, 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 is, this is New York's newest attraction. It's amazing what man can build. Thousands come here to see stunning views. But I want to talk to you today about what's next for America. A million people have died in this country alone of COVID. A war is being fought. What's next? Will you listen? I have been calling America to repent, crying, weeping. But have you listened? God is still giving his two-minute warning. It is still last call. Nothing has changed. With God, a thousand years is as one day, and one day is as a thousand years. With God, time is only a concept. Forever is a long time. So God's two-minute warning can go years. God's last call can go as long as he wants because he's on the throne. But what I'm telling you, unless there is a dramatic repentance by the United States, the city on the Hudson, the city surrounded by water on all sides, the city with a lady in her harbor, will become the city in the water. If you don't repent, consider what I'm saying. You have been warned. Forget about global warming. You're getting a global warning. The sea levels are going to rise. Our cities are going to be destroyed. But it's not science. It's not carbon. Forget about your carbon score. What's your cross score? No. The real global warming is in hell. So forget about going green. We're going to go red for the blood from New York. He's still given two minute warning. He's still given time. And the reason, the reason it has not come to an end is because God is not willing that any should perish. But his will is that everyone be saved. Jesus died for everyone. So today from New York, go to God, repent of your sin, put your faith in the cross and make Jesus the Lord of your life today. So heaven can be your home and you'll never have to go to hell. From New York, this is Evangelist Mike Dahl. I love you.